hello and welcome. I'm Kimber, mindful food and fitness coach here in beautiful Split, Croatia and just outside of the stunning Grieg Hotel. We're just going to do a few isometric stretches, things I love to do to stay feeling awesome in the joints while traveling and especially while having driven a car for a bit. So lying on your back, hands behind the right leg and feel the right leg pressing into the hands. This is awesome for hamstring activation. You can feel your shoulders deep pressing away from the ears. Hanging out for about 15 seconds here. And then we'll make this active by straightening your right leg 100% and feel your right thigh muscle turning on super strong. Maybe you start to engage that right thigh so much that the leg is almost shaking as you're trying to straighten the joint and feel super long for your thigh, left leg pressing into the ground. And we'll do that a second time for this side. So right leg pressing in the hand. Maybe you can get it to come just a couple millimeters closer up towards you. Of course, if your leg can straighten, no problem to lower it to an angle where you're able to straighten it so you feel that strong quad activation. And we'll just come into a spine twist, right knee bend, and taking a gentle twist of knee across spine, encouraging head to turn the opposite. And then we'll throw in a leg number two. So left leg up to the sky and about 15 seconds of left hamstring pressing into hands. Let your back feel long, your neck feel long. And if you want to work a little harder, don't be shy to press your right leg firmer into the floor. Straighten and engage that left leg 100% straight. It's up to you to turn on your quadricep as aggressively as you can. You want to feel like those muscles are pulling alongside the knee. Engaging as your right leg presses thoroughly into the floor. Maybe it comes a couple millimeters closer to you, but the most important thing is that the leg is super straight. We'll do it one more time for this leg. Left leg pressing against hands. Letting yourself breathe and letting your shoulders sink away from the ears. And round two, leg engaging. Another great way of doing this is with a strap. So if you ever wish to do the slightly bent knee portion with a strap right around your heel bone or a towel held in that place, that's a fantastic way of modifying this. Now you choose your straight leg position wherever you can get it to come until it's shaking, until it's quivering and then bend the knee and migrate into your spine twist, head looking opposite where the knee travels. We'll throw in a little bit of core isometric now. So hands pressing into the front of right thigh. You can choose to have your left knee bent or straight. Left knee bent lets you anchor your lower abs into the ground a little stronger, so I love that one and we're just pressing hands against leg. And we'll give it a little moment to relax. And we'll try the same thing now. Everyone try the straight leg version, hands pressing against the right thigh. Your hardest fight of hands against leg, shoulders depressed, lower belly pulled down to the ground. That will give us two more variations with chest lifted and maybe with your left leg lifted if your lower back stays on the ground. So if you're making the fight happen here, your abs are working super hard, and then enjoy a passive stretch of knee drawing into chest. And we'll take that on side too. Left knee tabletop, hands press against left thigh. This is the most gentle for being able to anchor your lower back 
for being able to round your lower back into the floor and feel your lower abs tighten, your obliques tightening, ribs down to pelvis. Version two, we just relax a moment, give it a little shake if it needs. And version two, hands press into left thigh. Then if you want to add on, you can curl up head, neck, and shoulders and or lift your long leg just to float it a couple inches off the ground and your lower back remains anchored. You do your strongest press, it only takes a few seconds to work. And rest it down, knee draws into chest. Ah, and we will flip over to face down for a little bit of glutes. Your choice of hand position, my favorite, is to take the hands just near the shoulders, let the shoulders relax, and we're gonna activate the glutes as hard as we can for one solid minute. Are you ready? And let us begin. So no stays down on the mat. Glutes are squeezing on, and you're imagining increasing the tension of the glutes as we go moment by moment, trying to feel more length created in your lower back because your pubic bone is pressed harder into the ground. Your thighs are engaged, your shoulders are widening. If I weren't talking to you, I would have my nose staying on the ground. And if I weren't checking my watch, I'd be keeping my nose on the ground and my focus better. But you're putting all of your focus into your glutes and letting the rest of your body work in service of tightening the glutes and opening the front of your hip joint. You're almost there. We're gonna give it another 15 seconds. Come on, let's get it. What you think is your toughest, most intense engagement is probably at best 40 to 60% of what your muscles are capable of. So just give them another couple percent of work. And come on up, we'll just finish with a cat cow on our elbows and knees. So elbows down, forearms parallel, and gently cat cowing. Try to be very detailed and sequential, tucking your tail, pulling in your lower belly, rounding your lower back, and going segment by segment of your spine, pushing the hands away from knees, pushing the knees back from hands, letting the back of your neck be long and wrinkle free, and we'll unwind, arching, sinking the waist, lifting the chest again, feeling elbows narrowed, hands spread apart, last rounding of our spine here, tail tuck, navel pulls in, push, push, push the ground away, see if you can fire up and find a little bit more glute, maybe a touch of external rotation in the thigh bone will help you find that and feel that. And coming out of it, sequencing, try to leave your upper back rounded as long as possible. Chest lifts. And you've done it. Thanks for joining me for a super quick little bit of stretch and strength. I'm Kimber, mindful food and fitness coach, focusing on Pilates and focusing on the health of your joints and safety of your movements. Have an amazing day and reach out. Let me know what I can do more of to help you 